Okay, new Victor Titan 22. This is all ghetto and spinning on me. I haven't got this set up, but what I wanted to do is check this out. This is my Mueller 8x32x44. And what I've done is uh, I zeroed it. It was way off. It was a foot and a half off. I couldn't even find paper. Got these new 15 round B BX 15 rounders. Flawless. Very good. I've got about, I uh, just shot it probably 100 rounds and uh, maybe five jams and uh, much better than it has been with this bolt group. And uh, this thing I'm blown away. Um, I just basically put it all, uh, built it last night and brought it down here. Like I say, I was way off, but I just shot at these, uh, it's damn but cold out here, but I just shot at this uh, day at the range challenge or whatever. And uh, man, when I was concentrating, I was holding it really. And uh, I got a little carried away, a little cocky, whatever, and rushed some shots. Cause basically I'm putting that new uh, arc and scope on there. And uh, I can't wait for that thing. Hopefully I can relate to the uh, reticle. But I started out here at the bottom and just, you know, when I pulled it and yanked it, that's me and possibly the ammo a little bit. This is the TAC-22. Go back out here and paste a little more and probably go fast motion, but I just thought I'd share some of the accuracy with this thing. Uh, I do have a new bipod coming. I'm going to try it out. It might be a little, it's that 360, uh, uh, who makes that one? UTG 360, blah, blah, blah. It might be a little bit too flexy for uh, bench shooting. But supposedly you can lock it down nice and tight, and hopefully that's uh, that's what it does, because I don't really need it for nothing else. But um, I've kind of been hitting my target. It's starting to pick up the wind here. You kind of see it in the trees there. And it was, uh, these are all just the shots I fired this morning. So come out here and just uh, really hit my target. Those are half inch pacers, those bright orange little guys. And the other ones are one inch pacers. And I had some bright orange ones on the red. Kind of nailed it then, but like I say, it's starting to get windy, so it's floating. And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go fast motion and go at some of these half inch pacers. So uh, let me paste them up real quick here. Okay, five rounds per target, one inch pacer, and I'm going to walk back. I'll probably edit this to where uh, I pick right up at the target. I went to this little video I've already unboxed everything and um, decided I better show this a little bit because there's a good heads up on this this little bugger I got here so got my Arkin scope it's the SH4 Gen 2 and I'm um, doing this build here I got a new Titan 22 stock uh, by Victor and um, this is some of the UTG stuff I've had in the past and I know it's solid. I painted this, this is about four years old, did some OD. This is a really solid stock, very nice. Um, so I know that's solid. And then I went, I had these uh, UTG, was it the UTG scope rings as well? They're the AccuSync ones. And I know they're solid, very nice. This is the 30 millimeter, I believe. <clears throat> okay, so this arc in, of course, you gotta go with the 34. And it's like, who's got 34 rings, right? So. I did find some uh, 34 rings and they actually happen to be this same style. So I know it's solid already. So I figured I'd go with this as well. Um, there's a heads up on this. I'm gonna have to show you here in a bit uh, with the arc and scope if you go with this route. What comes with this, which is really cool and you rarely see it, is an extra screw of each type. One for the mounting and one for the, the top mounting. So 
pretty darn cool, I will say. And that is the um, AccuScope ring system, and it comes with the torque as well, okay? So, I'll get that off to the side there. And what else I got was this, I got this Recon, what is this? This is the Recon 360 TL. I ordered this thing, and then I thought I did a mistake. I'm like, oh man, it's a 360, it's going to be too wobbly. I want this for bench target. So, I picked up this sucker, and um, I'm really digging it. I was kind of bummed because when I was looking at videos after I ordered this thing, <clears throat> I was seeing a big flathead screw here and it looked really ghetto. And it did, it, it just looked funky. This one's just got this UTG mount. So this particular model on this, this here, here's the packaging, sorry. Um, there you go right there. And there is probably a number, that number right there is the one that's gonna be the one just like this. So if you're looking, and you like the looks of this one, uh, I will say it's very solid. What it comes with is, let's see here. I got this, this mount, but I'm actually getting the Victor um, Titan 22 mount. It's a little three inch one, I got it coming. And I've got some extra uh, butt pads in the back, a, an extension, a couple extra ones, because I'm a taller guy, about six foot. But I do like, uh, with a long eye relief on this uh, Arkin, I want to go with, with that. So I'm going to go with the, um, the rail and I'll, I'll snap, I'll put this, mount this directly onto the rail. So this is very solid too. I did pre-mount this and it is solid. I thought it was going to be a little wobbly because of the 360, but uh, it is sweet. And instead of that flathead screw, they got a nice insignia there. And I like this thing. And all their stuff I'm noticing lately is this rubberized kind of like they got a coating on it. I'm an automotive painter by trade, semi-retired pretty much. And this has it too. It's a rubberized coating which is very cool. It's soft, sound deadening a little bit with the rattle, you know, and uh, good stuff. So I just want to give a heads up. Uh, I did have to do a little bit of an adjustment on this mount, and I'll show you here in a second what I had to do to get this thing to lay flush. Okay, so you can pick this up, but what I had to do is ream. I've reamed both sides now, just in case I want to flip it around, which I probably won't, but this little... You know, where they go in there and do the adjusting or fill it or however they do it, I had to actually ream that out a little bit on this. So just a heads up, I got it square now and I will brush touch it now. Let me move this scope and I'll brush touch it real quick. I don't want to get any overspray on my scope. I just got some uh, satin stuff I keep around the house. I'm doing this in my garage. Like I said, usually I got all this shit at work and all my stuff is literally at work. So <laughs> it kind of sucks. And I got this little ghetto brush here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put some paint on it, you know, a little bit of semi-gloss on there. I'll go about like this. Little Fred Flintstone stuff. Okay, now I'm sure here. Put the ghetto back. Just to cover the metal, I'm going to paint this OD green eventually. And I did both sides in case I want to mess with it. There we go. Protected. And I'm going to play with this thing and OD green it. So that is a semi-gloss flat paint. It'll, it'll dry right in there. You won't even see it. So... Good deal. Get this thing all mounted up and I'll be good to go. Okay, and this all, these are all aluminum, just so uh, I think I mentioned steel. <laughs> okay, here's the torquing here. The top screw value is 25. I'm going to go 18 per arcing. And then the side, there's three side ones, and they're, the boat, they're the same size torques, and they're 35 inch. So I'm probably going to go a 35 on that. And I've got, do got this nice wheeler. Pick this up too. I wish I'd have got the click one. This is the um, digital one, and it's um, I'm figuring it out, and it's noisy. Dogs hate it. But I'm gonna set this and go with my 35, and then go with my top 18.
have my hand over it. Okay, my 35, that wasn't over torqued. Honestly, I think by hand, I just go uh, the, the old good and tight, but uh, it's good, especially with these top ones, these Lucretia ones. So I'm gonna do this 5,000 with you. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna wait for my Loctite. I'm gonna play with this thing a little bit before I get it totally set. And I am, like I said, gonna paint it OD green. So, okay, got all these just barely started. And what I like to do is I get this little, uh, little jiggy here. It's my wife's uh, fingernail sander thing. <laughs> and a little level I got, and I put it right in the center. And uh, I could, you know, buy a real one. <laughs> but uh, this, this works fine. This works me. I've done it like this for years. And mainly going to center the scope in the mounts. And then I'll center my bubble here. Okay, Victor Titan 22. Uh, bipod on there. Got my mount. New scope. Have not played with this at all yet. Got my kid bolt scalloped in there black. Got my charging handle. I got the kid spring kit. I got the standard in there right now. I find it's the best right now. Uh, my receiver has to be broken into this bolt, from what I'm understanding. It's a tough bolt stout and the receiver um, is soft and it'll it'll groove in just right got a one stage trigger in there it's about a pound and some crumbs literally um, I did get my uh, universal cheap riser there and I got that little pad on there I got a pad coming actually a guy I'm gonna do a review for him and he's gonna turn me into one of those and I will be doing a review on that got some extensions coming for this and a three inch Picatinny for this. And I'm gonna do just a straight mount on the straight Picatinny. So uh, got my cool little cold tack bag. Really like that too, that's gonna make a huge difference. I haven't really tried it with this setup at all. So I should be pretty stable. I did zero this thing. I had a little bit of trouble at 25 yards. I zeroed it here at the house at the laser bore site. And uh, the reticle, the lit reticle, I'm having a little bit of uh, blurriness. So we'll see how that goes. I'm basically going to be at 50 yards with this thing. I will be putting it on other, other platforms, but for now it's my 22 LR uh, bench. I'm going to wrap this video up. Got kind of long there. I was going to do a range time also, but I think I'll do a separate video on range time. I do have a couple more accessories coming to complete this thing, and uh, I might wait to do the range time for that. But uh, this funny looking little foam pad here, that's just a good line with my head. I couldn't get the big piece to stay on, but I do have a guy sending me a really nice uh, foam pad, real thin foam pad that's going to fit their custom. And I'm going to do a review for them and uh, hopefully they're kick butt and uh, people will like them and order them from the guy. He's got a, He's got one for almost every model. Uh, I reached out to him and he asked what kind of stock I had. I told him. And so he said he's going to go ahead and buy that uh, universal piece and actually do a uh, machined piece for that. So uh, kind of looking forward to that as well. So I'll see you off the range. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll do some accuracy report uh, with, with this darn thing.